You should care. You should care what people think of you. She's right. I can turn my life around. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. Yeah. And all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was. And let the chips fall where they may. All right. So now what? Now I wait. Wait for the moment to take down Kid Tannen, restore my good name, and win back the heart of Betty Lipinski. Hold that thought. I bet that moment is just around the corner. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Huddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Come to... Come up for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Had a girl. Hey, you! Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you... I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All right, fella. I think you're done for the night. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I... Ah! Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? Uh, Trixie? Yeah? What happened in the alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Party? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena-answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this! The little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial-like with my Trixie! Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to stop bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live! <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees crying and begging for McFly's life! So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Ah, huh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Welcome back, sir. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Nice job. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. Man, 
man, that really looks a lot like my dad and my granddad. Sorry about this, Dad. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I talked to Kid. Oh? He told me about Artie. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. And it was... The awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal. Artie was supposed to be safe. I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Kid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, Copper! What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. Rats. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. Yeah, but in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy? You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! Would the Valenti mob be willing to help, uh, defuse this little situation? Hmm, I don't know. The Valenti mob doesn't like being associated with losers. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Wait, you mean... Doc? Doc? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley police force is out looking for Kid and his goons. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Uh, never mind. Don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. Uh, I don't think we have time for eventually. Hey, boy, how you doing? Good dog. 